In this video, we are going to dive deep into the hedging class, which makes it possible to create, run and manage hedging strategies. First, we will discuss how this strategy works, and then I will show you how you can use my hedging class in MQL to bring this strategy to reality. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to clarify that this hedging strategy is not my original idea. This is the video where I got the idea from. Since it is very popular, I wanted to code it so other programmers can use it as well. I would recommend watching that video if you don't really understand how hedging works. The main idea behind this strategy is the following. We send a buy stop order above the price and a sell stop below the price. The volume of these orders is the same. If the price reaches one of them and continues in that direction, we simply close for a profit. If the price bounces between the two orders before moving outside the range, we wait until it reaches a level where one of our trades is in profit by X pips and the other is in a loss. At this point, we close the profitable trade and partially close the losing trade to ensure we make a profit. The target that needs to be reached before closing the order is the target profit and the money we would like to make when it is hit is defined by the following formula. The gain per lot is multiplied by the volume of the trade in profit. After this, we open another hedging order below the price with the remaining volume and if this is reached, we repeat the process. If the price reverses, we modify your stop order and squeeze the price between the buy and sell levels. Throughout this procedure, we always increase the balance when closing out a profitable trade, but our equity may drop because of the losing trade. The problematic scenario is when the price keeps moving in one direction or hedging distance increases along with our floating loss and then the price reverses. The price is now stuck between our positions. This is when building from the inside may be a good idea. This means we open new pending stop orders above and below the price and repeat the procedure with these new orders hoping that only one of them will be triggered allowing us to trim the outside orders with its profit. This was a quick introduction to how it should work. Now let's see how we can implement this using my include file. You can find the code in the description below. The first important function is the set parameters function. We can set the target profit, which is basically the take profit of the trades, the starting lot, which will be used for the first orders, the gain per lot, which is the amount of money we would like to earn whenever we are trimming the trades and the original buy and sell levels. We can set most of these parameters individually. There is a target profit function, a gain per lot function, and a squeeze distance function, which sets the distance used for the squeezing procedure. The trailing stop orders we use this distance. You can also set a hard stop loss for the trades. Then there are the functions to get information. You can get the long volume or the short volume, the pending volumes, and the total amount of trades and orders. Then there is the run function, which when called, we'll send the two orders and start the strategy. This only works if the parameters have already been set. Then there is the ontic function, which needs to be called on every tick. We can build from the inside using the build from the inside function by passing the volume, the buy price and the sell price. We can stop the strategy using the stop function. The running function returns true if the strategy is currently running. You can also get the lost short price and the last long price of the strategy, which is the price of the last trade or order the strategy made in a given direction. And last but not least, you can add tickets to the strategy if you would like to add your own trades to the hedging batch. These are all the functions that we need. I won't go into details about the other functions and how the class works, because it will take a lot of time. The code is full of comments to explain everything. These are the only important functions you need to know to be able to use this class. Now that we have discussed the include file, let's build an EA based on it. First we need to include the hedge class include file. Then we have to add the input parameters. The order distance points will determine the distance used for the stop orders. The take profit points will be the target profit for the orders. The start lot size is the starting lot size and the gain per lot will be the amount of money made when closing one lot in profit. Next, we need to instantiate a hedging strategy member. Let's call it Strat. It's important to note that since this is a dynamic object, we need to delete it in the onTheInit function. Now let's write the simple EA logic in the onTick function. We know for sure 
that we don't want to do anything when the market is closed, so we call the isMarketOpen function, and if it returns false, we simply return. If the market is open, we need to check whether the strategy is running or not, and if it's not, we need to initialize the strategy. We also need to call the onTick function. First, we will get the bid and the ask price. If the strategy is not running, we initialize it with the given parameters. Take profit points times point will be the target profit. Start lot size is the lot size we will use. Gain per lot is the amount we would like to make when closing a lot. The buy price is the ask plus order distance points times point. And the sell price is ask minus the same term. Then we call the strat.run function. Outside the if condition we call the strat.omtick function, which will do the hard work and every calculation for us. Let's compile it and test it in the strategy tester. As you can see, the strategy works fine and does what it's supposed to do. Whenever the target profit is reached, it restarts after a profit. If both sides are open, it trims the losing position, but it is not really profitable because it, this strategy without building from the inside is very dry. Let's try to add some logic to build from the inside. First of all, let's say we only want to run a hedge strategy if a huge candle appears, so we define a breakout boolean variable which will be equal to the huge candle function. The functions used in this video can be found below the hedge class, by the way. We can add the breakout condition to the starting conditions. Now let's define the logic for building from the inside. Let's say we only want to build from the inside if the difference between the last long and short price is above 2.5 times the order distance. This will be the enough distance boolean. We only want to build from the inside when there is an open buy and an open sell trade, so we call the long volume and the short volume functions. And if their sum is above 3 times the lot size, we have already built from the inside, so we don't want to increase the lot size further because it is already big enough. The last condition is that the price is currently between the last short price and the last long price. We can check this as well by the following expression. The bid is greater than the last short price plus the order distance points, but is smaller than the last long price minus the same term. Now if we add all these conditions together, we can create some logic to use for building from the inside. First of all, let's define the volume. I like to recover losing positions by increasing the volume, so I will use the following method. The volume will be calculated based on the losing distances of the current trades and volumes. We will calculate it with the following formula. We will get the minimum losing distance, so the math min of ask minus the last short price and the last long price minus the bid. Then I will divide it by the target profit because the smaller the target profit the more volume we need. And then multiply by the minimum of the long volume and the short volume. Then of course we need to round this value to a valid lot amount. We then call the build from the inside function with the volume, the buy price and the sell price. We can add another condition to limit our floating loss because this strategy is based on increasing the balance but the equity can keep on dropping. So if the ratio between the equity and the balance is less than let's say 0.8, we will stop the strategy. Now let's compile and test the strategy. As you can see, the strategy still cannot produce stable profits. So far, I haven't been able to find a good build from the inside condition, but hopefully you may be able to do it. Sadly, we didn't find a holy grail trading strategy today. Now that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.